It's one of the biggest landslides ever uh, recorded in history um, of of this of this area in, in the world. Um, and the the thing about this landslide is you never really know what is going to happen. So when it is moving the risk of it catastrophically failing, meaning completely, this mass could completely let loose of the mountain and, and go very rapidly into the water, displacing all the water that's there, replacing it with soil, and all that water creates this giant tsunami wave. Landslide photogrammetry survey today on June 27th, and we're ready to take off for our third part of this Drone flight here. GPS um, does single points on the ground, and so you can compare your LiDAR instrument that actually captures uh, about 400,000 points per second, but um, we need to have a good uh, measurement of that exact elevation. So we use this uh, differential GPS, the staffs that I'm holding in the pictures to uh, measure those single points so we can uh, correct the millions of points that we get over a landslide to the right elevation. Clear. We actually mapped, uh, measured uh, the the displacement like within from 2010 to 2017 is about 120 meters, and that's a very uh, strong uh, evidence of that landslide is actually moving very fast. I cannot say that there is, of course, no hazard. There is. There is always hazard in these areas more than other areas because the glacier used to hold up these walls and the glacier has retreated over the last 20 years or so. Many hundreds of meters of that glacier um, has disappeared, both in, in uh, length in the fjord, but also in height. And so all that ice was holding back to soil. The glacier is now gone and the soil has a chance to move. If there is movement, slow movement, like we have been detecting, it is more likely that there will be a catastrophic failure than there isn't. But currently, the speed of the slow moving process is, is slowing down. So over the past 10 years, the speed has been a lot faster than it currently is. And there are different reasons for that. But we think that the, the immediate catastrophic failure uh, hazard may be subsiding at the moment. <laughs> The, the problem with these motions are they are not continuous. They're not a, a car driving from a location A and B at a constant speed, for example. Oftentimes, motions like that in nature, in nature um, move uh, uh, very fastly for a short period of time, and then they stop for a while, and then they pick it up again and stop for a while. 
And that's really difficult uh, to predict. We know, for example, over a certain period of time, the slope has moved a certain amount, but we cannot say uh, how exactly in between these two observations, how the slope moved. So right now we might be in a quiet phase, but uh, maybe next year or next week, it could pick up uh, speed quite a bit and, and, and cause uh, large motions or movements there. Again, we cannot say for cer uh, with certainty that this is going to take place, but there's a there's a high likelihood, and um, we just don't want to say, uh, take chances in this regard. And thought that it's just, it's good to raise awareness about that. And it's not so much the people that live there. Uh, Vidya has 200 or so um, people living there. The population is really small. However, Alaska thrives on uh, on tourists. And on any given day in that area, in the, near the barrier arm, there are 500 people. Uh, could be on kayaks, on boats of, of, of any outfit, uh, fishing, private enterprises, enterprise fishing, and so forth. There could be just a lot of uh, people uh, being exposed to that uh, hazard. That we are today surveying with a drone, doing structure for motion photogrammetry. And here you see some dust coming up from 